Earlier we showed you the football field. Well, now we're going to take you inside the ring with one of my favorite sports, professional boxing. First time I won the Golden Gloves was 1991. Okay, okay? and my, my trainer Bill Brown threw me in there with the open, and you know what I mean. I wasn't I wasn't ready. You know, well everybody would have said I wasn't ready because I only had five fights, but I did pretty well. I was really never a heavyweight, just kind of a Joe Lewis type, 190 pound guy that knocked out heavyweights. Tonight we're taking you inside the main event, professional boxing and heavy hitting right here in Indianapolis. Today on Real Scene TV, we're getting in the mind of the boxer right before the big match. Okay, I'm here with George Honeyboy Blades. Uh, you have been pretty successful in your career. What do you do to physically prepare for a match? I do a lot of running. I do a lot of, you know, um, um, meditation, believe it or not. Meditation mm -hmm. comes with my workout, you know, so I can go through things in my mind, you know, things that I'm weak on so I can be stronger, so on and so forth. But just a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, conditioning, conditioning work. Um, I study the guy that I'm fighting without a doubt, you know. By the time I get in there with him, I know what he's going to do as soon as he does it. And to study your opponent, like how, do you, how long does it take you? How do you go about doing that? How I prepare is, you know, I get the tapes on them um, uh -huh. and just watch them, watch them over again, watch them when I'm, watch them when I'm in my good moods, mm -hmm. and watch them when I'm in a bad mood. You know what I mean? So I can get, you know, that brain set of every way, and I mean, just study and, and kind of strip them down. In round seven of the bout, 218 into the bout with a TKO, the winner, George Honeyball. I am here with Rita, which is actually Honey Boy's mother and the promoter for the event. The purpose of RHB Promotions is to help fighters that didn't have a chance, and this will be a chance that we will help them get to their victory of where they want to go. Is there any advice that you can give any upcoming boxers? I don't want to say sign with RHB. But sign with RHB because we're looking to revolutionize boxing. You know, boxing has never had a had ever had a union, or we doesn't have, we don't have a national board, or you know, someone to step up and say, hey, you can't do that, or that was illegal, or something like that. So a national commission, John McCain kind of worked on it a little bit. Guy will and I can get some guys like Andre Carson to um, you know speak out on it. We can make some changes in boxing. What kind of support do you give to up and coming boxers? We are going to help with training, signing them, finding them fights and things like that to help build their career. It's lights out for part one, but you can catch part two in April. For more information, go to realscenetv.com. I'm Tanisha Johnson for Real Scene TV. The next main event will be coming up soon, and we'll take you there.